This is the video introduction to experiment number 28, Build an Electronic Canary Circuit in the Mr. Circuit Basic Electronics Lab 1. Here you see our Mr. Circuit holding a bird cage with a bird in it. The bird looks like it's singing. Maybe it's hungry. Do you have some seeds? Our electronic canary just eats electrons. This is the first of three experiment projects that we will build with a two transistor oscillator circuit feeding the 555 timer IC. The oscillations of this circuit are fed into pin five of the IC. This in turn affects the signal coming out of pin three. This oscillation on pin five causes the pulses coming out of pin three to constantly change. The resulting output of this circuit sounds like canaries or other birds chirping. You can adjust the chirping with the potentiometer in the circuit. Pressing and releasing the push button switch can cause varying effects. It's a lot of fun to play with, and when you use it around real birds, they react to the chirping. This is the most complex circuit so far, so work carefully to install the 26 items in the correct places on the solderless circuit board. Here are the steps we suggest to build this circuit. I do want to point out something here before you start. Most of the experiments we have done so far have pin one of the 555 timer IC in the lower left corner. In the next three experiments, including this one, the 555 timer has pin one in the upper right as you are looking at the pictorial diagram on the printed page. If you don't install the 555 in the correct orientation, of course, the circuit will not work and you may damage the IC. Step one, lay out all the 26 parts needed for the circuit. Step two, install these nine parts, the battery snap, the speaker, the 0.1 microfarad disk capacitor, the 555 timer IC, watch the position of pin one, the 0.01 microfarad disk capacitor, the push button switch, the PNP transistor, the NPN transistor, and the potentiometer. Step three. Install the 1,000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and then install the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Watch the polarity on these capacitors. The 1,000 microfarad has its plus lead toward the bottom, and the 10 microfarad capacitor has its plus lead toward the top. Step four, install the six resistors the 47 ohm, the 100 ohm, the 33K ohm, the 6.8K ohm, the second 100 ohm, and a 3.3K ohm. Step five, install all 10 jumper wires. With all the jumper wires installed correctly, the circuit is complete. To make the circuit work, touch the battery to the snap and press the push button switch. If the circuit makes a sound, then connect the battery and with the push button pressed, adjust the potentiometer to make different sounds. Maybe you can even find a canary in there. Maybe even a sparrow or two also. Now I am going to demonstrate the electronic canary circuit in action. Here is experiment number 28, the electronic canary, all wired up and ready to go. You've got two electrolytic capacitors, two disk capacitors, two transistors, a 555 timer, one, two, three, four, five, six resistors, and a bunch of jumper wires. And let's see if it works. Let's see if the birds are home. Sounds like they are. They're all chirping and ready to eat. 
Okay, it's your turn. Get your parts. Good luck. Let's see if you can wire it up like I did.